I uh, met uh, three uh, Rwandan when I was uh, doing my film school in uh, the UK and then uh, hearing their testimonies and the stories of the genocide and how it affected their lives. Being an educator, being a teacher, I wanted to tell the story in a different way, from a different perspective. I am lighting a candle as the sign of resilience. I'm paying a tribute, you left a legacy, and I'm my fruit from the love you saw. They told us that it was a group of students who wanted to learn about Rwanda because they were interested in understanding the history of Rwanda. We called them to come in April because Songa Africa is not just about leisure tourism, but it's also about educational tours. We wanted to show them uh, the pre-genocide, the, uh, during the genocide and after genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda. actually first started to learn about um, the genocide of Rwanda and our teacher was very interested in the history and she decided to make a project to come visit here. Uh, we even uh, study a uh, hotel Rwanda movie with the students in the, towards the preparation to this uh, school trip. But what really struck me as I came here is uh, the true uh, story behind the production of the Hotel Rwanda movie that uh, kind of distorted the truth. And uh, this uh, truth was uh, reinforced as we were going through the memorial of the genocide, uh, hearing about the real origins and the real causes of the, of the genocide. And also the fact that the genocide uh, didn't start in 1994, uh, uh, but way before that. This truth, uh, we didn't know about that. I learned more precision and more in depth about the genocide and personally it touched me uh, pretty emotionally and it explained the genocide really really well. Uh, I think it's a great memorial, it was uh, well constructed and uh, it moved me a lot because uh, I learned something that I didn't really know before. The whole genocide didn't start from nothing it came from the colonization and I didn't know that. I didn't know that the, the colonists tried to, to divide Rwanda before. Uh, I didn't know that. I think that even if it, it, it doesn't concern me, I wasn't there, I kind of also feel concerned because it's my country and it's the history of my country and it just hits me hard. They, they just highlighted a few things for, uh, that I learned. And uh, the thing that shocked me the most it, it was, by example, the graves and the skulls that we saw. The room where we, we saw the, the kids' um, testimonies and it was really painful to me because I realized that they, they were willing to kill everyone and even the kids and that I couldn't hold my tears. I cried a lot. It was very sad and because I saw a lot of my friends cry and I didn't know they would cry for a story that's not, that doesn't come from their country. And it, for me, obviously, it was very emotional to see them cry. You were taken away from me too soon If I had one wish He would be seeing you again Today we're strong men And women even though You are not here to see We're carrying on To make you feel proud out there Watching down on As the sign of resilience, I'm paying a tribute. You left a legacy, and I'm my fruit from the love you saw. This genocide was a big mistake, and I think that this is a very big lesson that we should learn from what happened here. We should take this genocide as a big lesson and that this is something that should never happen again anywhere like either in Africa or whatever. This was a horrible mistake. This should never ever happen again. You 
you should just live with others. Um, we're all equal and there's no uh, difference between humankind. This willingness to forgive, despite all what happened, that's a very humbling lesson to us. And we can really say a well done, Randans, for willing to build up the country after all the crisis and all, after all these years of being torn, willing to hold hands together and uh, get the country up living again and, uh, and then uh, resurrecting from its ashes. It's a very, very big lesson of humility for us. When you come on a place like this, you witness with yourself with your eyes. You witness what happened. You understand from where this country comes from. And you understand to where this country is going. If you see what you've seen here and you see the other parts, then you will understand what transformation is about. And this is the message that we have for the rest of the world. It doesn't matter where we come from. What matters is what we want to go to together. And uh, this should never happen again because the love is beyond all our differences and now uh, that's it. Hey.